I'm back in Legend Arena with my mini account and I play a dirty deck. deck I'm playing is this one over there, I'm playing the Dirty Mortar deck, I'm playing the Mortar deck because everybody's playing either Elite Barbarians, Hog Riders or Goblin Barons and this deck is just awesome encountering those cards. So I'm gonna show you two battles on how I came back into Legend or Hawk Mountain Arena, Arena 3000 trophies against very popular decks. One is the Elite Barbarian Hawk Rider deck and the other one is the Elite Barbarian Goblin Barrel deck. And I'm gonna show you how to play those. They're very popular and they are the reason I'm playing the Mortar deck right now because the Mortar deck is so awesome <laughs> against those kind of decks. And then I'm also gonna show you a battle against, and this is actually a real value here, look at this, he drops the minion horde and you can just arrow them, and that is big, big value, the minion horde is so expensive, and they always make the same mistake, they drop the minion horde and you, you just arrow them, there's big value in arrowing them. So, where I always struggle with this deck, uh, it's great against Goblin Battle, it's great against Hog Rider, it's great against Elite Barbs, but I struggle against Lava Hound Balloon with this deck. So, <laughs> if you have any advice on how to play this kind of deck against Lava Hound Balloon, please leave it in the comments. Thank you. And yeah, also consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's regular uh, Clash Royale videos on my channel. Awesome content, I guess. So yeah, it, and it's free. Just subscribe to my channel. Anyways, let's get back here. So you see that he was successful at dropping a hog, and it's almost even. I was able to do some damage first with the mortar to his tower. He's also playing the Inferno Dragon. That's not really a danger, because I can play the archers against the Inferno Dragon. Again, nice arrow there for me. Big elixir gain, positive elixir trade for me to just arrow those mega minions. A really nice trade there. And whenever he drops Garmy like here, I use the log because the log will do chip damage to the tower. I take it. <laughs> I just take it. And so here, why do I drop the mortar there? The reason is I decided to go defensive because after placing the mortar first, he now knows I'm playing the mortar. And there's big value there with that wizard and the rocket at the tower. And now he drops Hawk and the lead buffs, but I'm pretty easy able to defend against those with the mortar there. It will pull them over to the center uh, of my side here. And also the archers taking off that Inferno Dragon. So it's really awesome at defense against Hog Rider and Elite Buffs. Another chance for me to log and do chip damage. And so, yeah, as I said, I'm just defending now and doing rockets because. He knows my deck and he would basically put his hog against my mortar and I don't want that and so I place the mortar back there. That's basically the reasoning behind that. And now here I actually get another chance uh, to push but he's already um, at 162 and so one rocket will end the battle. So that's basically how easy it is to defend against elite barbs with the mortar deck. And now the next battle again against e barbs, but this time with a goblin barrel. I'm playing the mortar deck again and this is it. This is the battle that got me back to Hawk Mountain to 3000 trophies with my mini account. And again I'm playing the first mortar very offensive because he doesn't expect it. And he drops a Valkyrie, which is actually a nice rocket chance if I'm able to hit the Valkyrie with the rocket and that works. I'm also distracting his Elite Barbs there and logging them and that's big value. Uh, the Elite Barbs will never reach that tower. Very well defended and actually the Mortar <laughs> shoots one more shell at the tower. So always try to surprise him first with the Mortar. The arrows I need for the Goblin Barrel. So as soon as I notice he's got Goblin Barrels or when I notice he's got Minion Horde, I will keep the arrows for Minion Horde or Goblin Barrel. If he has both, I need to use the Log for the Goblin Barrel and the arrows for the Minion Horde. So that's basically how I do it. If he doesn't have any of them, I use the log to do chip damage at the tower. Like here, I do chip damage at the tower by dropping the log. And I'm also able to take out the wizard. My mortar almost at full health. 
and shooting shells there at the tower and placing the arches behind the mortar to make sure they're not destroyed by the Valkyrie and they take out the Valkyrie. Now, his tower almost at 1300, he drops another Goblin Baron, I'm ready with the arrows, dang, there you go, no damage done. And I'm just waiting for my elixir to fill up. Don't don't play too aggressive now that he knows what I'm playing. Because it's basically, you see there, he's just waiting to drop the e-barbs at my mortar. And I don't want him to do that. And so I go defensive again once he's at about 1300. And his e-barbs will go for my mortar. The mortar will do big damage to the e-barbs. And I have so many small units here, it's really easy to distract the e-barbs and they have no chance basically. And so I even play another aggressive mortar there. Going for his tower, I dropped the log a little bit too early, didn't hit his army. And my other mortar just died and also the Valkyrie. It's almost, you could say it was almost a mistake, but still I'm able to defend. He's trying to push with another Valkyrie. I waited a bit too long there, but I'm ready to arrow. Dang the arrows! Arrows! <laughs> Goblin barrel done. So I play it safe now. It's only 20 seconds to go. I place the mortar in the center and start to rocket him. I'm also gonna use another log to do chip damage. His log is actually very nice there. But again, you see, his e barbs have no chance. It's a real e barb hog rider goblin barrel killer this day. And there comes another rocket at the tower. Uh, actually, I'm not ready to defend on time here against the goblin barrel, but now I am. His witch, his witch, his, his Valkyrie almost gets to the tower, but that's okay, because his tower is at 74. And I just need some small damage there. I still defend with the log. I don't want to take chances here. And now when he drops the e-barbs, I just arrow and that's it. And that's how I came back to 3000 trophies with my mini. And now I'm gonna show you the battle I actually lost <laughs> against Lava Hound <laughs> Balloon. And that was actually before the battles I just showed you. And I'm showing you this. Maybe one of you has an advice on how to play against the Lava Hound Balloon deck with the Mortar. And if you have, then please put it in the comments so that everybody else that is watching this video can learn from the mistakes that I made here against Lava Hound Balloon. You see it here, it's really difficult to count. I rocket the balloon, and so I made sure the balloon did not reach the tower, but he also has the miner. And I don't have many units against air, like I only have the arrow archers here. And his miner and all those um, Lava Pups are able to do a lot of damage there. Really a, a big push for him. It's really difficult to defend against Lava Hound Balloon. So I'm thankful if you have any advice. Also for all the other viewers, just put them in the comment. Now, he places the Inferno Tower there, which is bad for me because I know exactly he's gonna play it <laughs> against my Mortar. And again, nice arrows there for me. That's not bad actually. Um, mortar was able to fire two shells. It may fire another one. There's the next balloon, which is bad. I'm rocketing the balloon. It's the best defense I could think of. And so the balloon doesn't do any damage. I don't know what you think about rocketing the balloon. It's it's not a bad trait, I think. And I dropped the ice spirit just to do some chip damage on that tower. And strange enough, it dies before it hits the tower. So I need to upgrade the Ice Wizard, it's still a bit too low level. And there is his next Lava Hound push. And as you see, I don't have much to defend against the Lava Hound. I could place the Mortar in the center, I think that's what I did here in this battle. And also the Archers are there to defend, he's dropping the Miner there and now I Rocket. Yeah, I placed the Mortar over there and I was unlucky actually because the Mortar did not Pull the Lava Hound, of course. I have the arrows against those guys at least. And the archers still defending. Four archers, but the bowler survived. So after all, it was not a bad defense here. Still, we were able to defend. Uh, but there is already the next balloon. And we need to rocket that balloon again. Is Miner doing chip damage? It's really difficult to play against the Miner Balloon. We're also logging again. And there's already the Bowler, so he's able to make so much pressure with that deck. And yeah, I need advice here. 
<laughs> I need advice. And I think also many of the viewers playing more deck or want to try this because it's so well against e barbs. Uh, they, they need advice on how to play against this kind of deck. Again, I'm rocketing the balloon. Actually, there I make a mistake because my rocket is too late and doesn't hit the balloon. And so his balloon, Lava Hound combo gets to the tower and there's basically no way I can defend this at this very moment. It was close, it was close. If I hit that balloon there, that balloon, that balloon there in the end, I could have won. But yeah, as I said, I didn't hit it and I lost. So maybe that's how it is. Maybe it's always very close against balloon. I hope you enjoyed this video for awesome Clash Royale content. Please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free and it's fun. Thanks. Have an awesome day.